So, you have a new Thor movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And let me tell you, he's dumber than ever. Oh. Okay. Yeah, just real. He's not smart at all, this guy. All right. Well, I can't wait to see him team up with the Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, we kind of ended Endgame with them taking off onto adventure together. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, sir, the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to be in this. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, just ever so briefly. What? So we're going to meet this guy, Gore, right? And all his people have died and his daughter, too, even though he's been praying to their god. Okay. And then he meets his god, who it turns out is a big old jerk, and then he gets chosen by the Necro Sword and kills the god. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so now Gore has become the god butcher, and he's just gonna go on a rampage. He wants all gods to die. Why? Well, he thinks they're all selfish, and they only care about themselves. Dang, well, it's gonna be crazy to see him going around butchering gods. Oh, yeah, except, no, that is gonna be happening off screen. But... He's the God Butcher. Yeah, so he's off. He's off doing that. We're not gonna see that. I would like to see it. No. Ah, dang it. Anyway, so then we're gonna meet up with Jane Foster. And what's going on with her? Well, she has stage four terminal cancer. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah, but don't worry, sir. Everything's still gonna be hilarious all the time. That's that. That wasn't my concern. Still plenty of jokes per minute, sir. Don't even worry about it. Right. Okay. Maybe there shouldn't be in some parts. We're gonna be cruising at a furious JPM. All right. You know those screaming goat videos from the internet? From like, from like 10 years ago? Yeah. Yeah, we're bringing that in a bunch of screaming goats the whole time. All right, I mean, that was really funny 10 years ago. I guess it might still be funny now. Well, I hope you do like it, sir, because if it doesn't land the first time, it's certainly not going to land the next seven. Wow, well, gee. So anyway, Thor finds out from Sif that Gore is butchering all these gods in amazing ways that I'm never going to show you, and he's on his way to New Asgard next. Oh, no. Yeah, New Asgard has become, like, super touristy. Like, they have an ice cream shop called the Infinity Cones. It has, like, an infinity gauntlet theme. That kind of seems like it's in poor taste. No, it tastes fantastic. I mean, it's ice cream. No, I mean, the Infinity Gauntlet was used in like a worldwide tragedy that's kind of messed up for a theme. Yeah, nothing a little ice cream can't solve. That's a good point. Yeah, okay. So Thor shows up to New Asgard and he sees that Jane is now also a Thor. What do you mean? Well, turns out back when they were dating, Thor had asked Mjolnir to protect Jane, so that's what he's doing here. Wow, well, it's gonna be cool to see her transform for the first time. Yeah, except no, that's off screen. That's off screen too. Okay, all right, dang it. So anyway, now she has this super cool thing. Thor outfit, because that's what happens to you when you wield Mjolnir. That didn't happen to Captain America when he had it. Hey, shut up, and so then Gore steals all these children and runs away. Oh, super rude. Yeah, and so his plan is to lure Thor, because he just knows he's going to come to the rescue of these kids. He believes that all gods are selfish and only care about themselves, so his plan is to capture people that they care about, because they would definitely come help them. I... Yes. Well, okay then. So Thor goes to the city where a bunch of gods live, including Zeus, and he tries to get them to help, but they're all scared of gore. Oh man, all these gods in one place? That's the perfect setup for a gore the butcher attack scene. Oh, you know it, sir. Anyway. Oh, so then they impale Zeus with his own thunderbolt and steal it and run away. Oh, impaling people and stealing their belongings is tight. Oh, my God. That won't hold up in court, by the way. That wasn't an official admission of guilt or confession. All right, so then they go fight Gore and he steals Stormbreaker. Why? Well, it turns out that Stormbreaker is the key to the realm of eternity, where eternity will grant one person one wish. Oh, what's up? It just seems like maybe it would have been easier for Thanos to just go there instead of trying to gather all the Infinity Stones. Yeah. Or for the Avengers to go there for that matter instead of inventing time travel. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about previous Marvel movies. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. So does Thor just summon Stormbreaker back? That's a thing he can do, right? Yeah, no, I guess it's not within his summoning range. He needs to change service provider. And then they find out that Mjolnir is actually draining Jane's life force, so if she uses it again, she'll die. I thought Mjolnir was protecting her, now it's killing her? Yes. Yeah, sting it, Mjolnir. What the heck? So Thor is like, all right, well, Jane, you can't come fight with me, and I'll so Valkyrie got stabbed, and Korg is just a face. He lost his body. Man, well, it's gonna be hard for Thor to fight Gore on his own. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, he's not gonna be alone, actually. What do you mean? Well, he lends his Thor powers to all the kids, which is a thing he can do now. So they all fight Gore and his monsters. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and so then our hero, you know, the guy with the army of child soldiers, attacks the bad guy who's, you know, the guy who thinks gods should be nicer to people. That's, uh, I don't know, maybe don't 
phrase it that way. Right, okay, the good guy fights the bad guy. Yeah, definitely keep it vague, that sounds better. Anyway, then Jane shows up to help too. But she'll die. She does, yeah, but then Gore is so moved by their love, when he makes his wish, he doesn't wish for all gods to die. What does he wish for? He wishes for his daughter to come back to life, but then he dies, so Thor kind of has a daughter now. Very cute. And Korg has his body back and he falls in love. How did he get his body back? I don't know, and so that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, but do you think maybe we're going a little too hard on the Marvel humor? Sir, it's impossible to lean too hard on the Marvel humor. Trust me. Hi everybody, it's Ryan here. Thanks for watching that video, hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the please uh, comment, please like, click like, subscribe, uh, share. Also share, click like, comment, subscribe, like, comment down below. Anyway, that's it for me. Don't forget to click and uh, comment like. Subscribe.